know that. Uh, our residents, most of them, don't have the money to pay for the water filtration systems. We had people today who spoke in Madison. They pay anywhere from 4500 to 6000 and above just to get the initial system. That doesn't include replacing the different parts that have to be replaced yearly or however often they would need to. When you start talking about buying water, and uh, it's costing our county right now several thousand just to do the testing for the people, because of course we're doing it for free. So for them, because they shouldn't have to pay for it. But when you look at all the different areas that the people have to try to cover, to make sure that they're not using contaminated water. A lot of them don't have the money for it, and because of that, truthfully, a lot of them who have lived close to the river for many, many years, they don't bother. And we don't know what they may, at times, deal with as a result of the water, but they know they don't have the money. They've always been there, or they've been there for a number of years, and they, they say, another spill, and they just don't bother. But the bottom line, and I think with most things, the bottom line just comes down to money, and it hits a lot of our residents very hard along that area. I have a question. I, as far as accountability goes, when these spills happen, are you, is, is anybody fined? I mean, it seems like, is there anything, I'm like, you just spilled X amount of raw sewage, does the EPA fine the city? Is there any kind of... The EPB, EPB can find the state. But that is not like automatic. It's not, it's not automatic, automatic or it's based on the gallon or whatever it is. But they, they do have that authority to, to uh, have they? Uh, have they ever? Have they ever? I've been here, I've been sitting there for two years. Um, since I've been here two years, no, that we've not had We've been going on for a long time. We're 409 have been happening. So we're, we're, under, we're under the similar. Uh, still, from the jump with us. PD, uh, but um, as far as I can remember back, I don't think you've had a fine. They, you know, what they've done in lieu of fines is they added more projects to keep the problem from happening. They, they'll, they'll do that many times, rather than a dollar value, they'll add more projects to the consent order. How will the notification system change? Notifying, notifying us downstream. And the reason I ask, a year or two ago, my oh yeah, we have a place in the picture. My last playing right in the water. We kayak a lot, Scott, like you do, and enjoying the water. Get the truck. I have a text from a local official. Stay out of the river. The spill had happened four or five days prior. We just found out that day, and I've been in the river playing my lab and having a good time on the Wisconsin River. How will the notification system change to guarantee that everyone, even those who don't have email and internet access on the river, know about these spills? Because that, to me, is criminal criminal neglect because you're endangering their lives. I mean, because you're in that water, animals are in that water, there are farm animals are in that water, and no one knows. I, I don't think I have an answer to that. Yeah, I don't know that anybody on that email list can get it by phone, you can get it by um, notification. You get more specific with it as well. Um, if it's anywhere near a waterway, obviously, we don't want an egg on anybody's face. We had one person in the campground get a reverse 911 call, and we had quite a few people in the campground have no internet. <coughs> So we're trying to take care of ourselves, and we're trying not to be dependent upon any government organization. Because we do, you know, with the exception of a few people, um, you know, a lot of the people in Hamilton County, it's a poor county. So the, the folks that can help, I think, are helping. <coughs> they do a job of it, but there has to be several ways of getting their advice. Mr. Parker, does anybody here from Madison? Uh, do y'all live within how far of the river? Three miles. Did y'all get our code red announcements on your telephone? Yes. Okay, so we have a code red system in Madison County in our emergency management can uh, pinpoint target areas in the county, put out a, a blast phone call, uh, automated message that, that gives those type of warnings. Well, I'm glad to see that in our county, that, I think that system worked pretty good. And uh, so I don't know if Hamilton or Swanee has code red or similar type of announcement notification system. Y'all are right. relying a lot on the uh, systems to tell you communications. I'm assuming that their battery or generator backup in, their, in the event of a catastrophic 
electrical outlets, they all are on battery or generator. Would you purchase more more generators to back up to that? My other question is, and I don't know if you can do it in this particular area, but uh, have y'all looked at uh, high injection uh, well well pumps for overflow of the sewage? They do use them in Collier County, in South Florida. They pump 35,000 feet down in, into the aquifer, but scientists have said by the time it comes out in the ocean, it's purified. Yeah, now that's a uh, pretty uh, he's not wild allowed statement. Us to do it. Yeah, we only allow it to be surface discharge. I know down out in Gainesville, Florida, they have a deep well injection. They actually, instead of surface water injection, they dug a well 3,500 feet, and they're pumping it in the ground 3,500 feet. Uh, you know, some pros and cons, some folks are pro to that, some folks don't think they, uh, that should be happening either, so, you know, still some science needs to be done up in this area to make sure it's about right. soil conditions. Yeah, well, they use a bubble way. system in South Florida. Yep. They inject them into the uh, brackish water They're system. going into the lower, lower Florida. I don't know if yeah, you can do that more up. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. You get higher in the sugar, it's hard to get those. Sort of well, forward. whatever you can do to communicate with us, get us some information, and support us, uh, and me as a citizen, I greatly appreciate your help. I have a question about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was spill. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84, which I believe <coughs> we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, does anyone in Valdosta know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? Uh, 27, or about three days. And is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river? Valdosta, for example, is Valdosta doing that? No. We have a, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District. We have done that, yeah. As you know. <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry? We, we haven't done it consistently, but we have done it. When a spill, you know, when a, when a location popped up, at, you know, either at 84 or at 31, and we looked upstream and downstream in conjunction with DOH and DEP on specific days. Yeah, on specific days. And we did a site. We did a Okay, and with the nice here in Nick and USA 84 and state line, but Valdosta has not. Valdosta right. basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no, sir. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And I just, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to Lab and Thomas over there. And other folks were going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The numbers that you were posted on your Facebook were much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand there and not say we haven't been out there doing it. And you ever returned that data in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You didn't file with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data every 